I'll come back to every chest YouTube channel today. This class will learn how to make this beautiful transformer palazzo pants. It's a two in one trouser, you can wear it as a short and also as a full trouser. It's a simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So, to make this detachable trouser, I'm going to be drafting on my my pattern first for clarity so i have my measurements here already the first thing i did from my starting point here i measured in one inches one inch and then i made it into a straight line like that that's the first thing you need to do then after that this upper part is going to start as my starting point and also my waistline okay where you're going to be putting the trouser and the next thing is for you to measure your crotch so my crotch is 11 inches and i've measured it here so the next thing is to start taking your measurement the waist i'm working with is 28 inches 28 inches divided by four is going to give me seven inches so i'm going to mark seven inches from this not from this starting point from the one inch allowance that i measured here i measured the seven inches and then i'm going to add extra two inches allowance so it's one inch is going to be for my dart and one inch for my seam allowance so now now i have around nine inches all together here the nine inches i'm going to take it to the crotch as well and i'm going to mark it so that i can have a straight line okay so after having my straight line there the next thing for my crotch curve i'm going to measure my tie measurement that's the fullest part of your tie so for this to person the tie the round tie measurement that measurement you need to take it loosely it shouldn't be too tight it's 26 inches that's round the tie so now these 26 inches are going to divide it by two because the legs are separate and that's going to be 13 inches so the 13 inches i'm going to be taking it from here so that we can shape these straws i remember when we we're taking the waist we started from here so for the 13 inches i'm going to take it from here and then i'm going to add one inch for his so that's going to leave me with 14 inches so i have 14 inches here okay i hope you get that so the next one is to create our crotch curve so to create this crotch curve here i'm going to get the center line of this point so i'm going to be doing that with the head of my protector here so i just place the center mark here and i'm going to note where that v arrow stops so i've pointed this here so to know how long i'm going to draw this you're going to measure what you have from here to here and what you have there is four inches so the four inches are going to divide by four so whatever it is that you measured from where your waistline stops to where your crush stops whatever it is that you measure there you divide it by four so in my case it's four inches i'm dividing it by four and that's one inch so here i'm going to mark one inch okay so i'll check if it's up to one okay so i have one inch around here so the next one is for me to connect from my waist all the way to this one inch and i'm going to connect like this so you don't want this part to be too long so that your your crotch will not be packing so it's very important for you to get that part right okay so i'm just going to make do with the curve that i have but you should get a better curve driller and then after that i'm going to connect from there all the way to my crotch like this so you should find a really small curve as much as possible you can see that i'm struggling with this okay so just get a better cup that can give you something really smooth and nice okay so i'm just connecting like this and that is what i have so the next thing now is for me to take my dart so remember we added one inch for that so the dart is my crotch my boss part divided by two that's eight divided by two for me and that's four inches for my dart leg i'm going to be working with five inches that's the length or so even four inches is fine because this is the front so again i'm going to measure that four inches so that i can have a straight line then from there you're going to take it out of half an inch on both sides and then you're going to connect it okay so that's the that for the front so this is a palazzo trouser and then before you go back to the length of the trouser we need to shape it remember we started taking our measurement from here so to have that hip shape i'm going to take my 
my curve now and then from here i'm going to connect it to the to the to the crotch like this so again if you have a better curve please work with it so i'm connecting from there now and once you have that you see that the trouser is no longer straight it's now shaped so now the next thing is for me to just take this all the way straight down because i'm working with a palazzo trouser which is just straight down okay so now from your starting point here you measure to your floor length but like i said this is a detachable trouser so i don't want to waste this pattern so what i'm going to do now my actual full length the full length that i'm working with for this trouser is 14 44 inches okay so now for that strap that we have there i'm going to be working with a first four inches strap so if i deduct the 44 inch four inches from 44 inches i'm going to be left with 40 inches which means now the total trouser that i'm working with now is 40 inches so the short part of this trouser for me is going to be 18 inches that's the short remember it's a short then when we hide the lower part it becomes a long trouser so for the short part i want it to be around 18 inches or i can even make it up to 20 inches so now from there i'm going to measure 20 inches that is the length for my short for my short pants so i have the 20 inches there and then i'm going to connect it okay so after connecting it now i'm going to measure what i have here okay so this is 13 inches i'm going to this is 14 inches remember we're measuring from here i'm going to repeat the 14 inches here and then i'm going to make it into a straight line remember we said because we want it to just be a straight down trouser we're not shaping or anything we're just taking what we have there all the way to the lower part so now assuming this is going to be just long you're just going to take it to the hem like that but because it's going to be having a short and long so just bear in mind that we have taken 20 inches here out of our 40 inches it means we still have 20 inches to complete this and then we'll have four inches strap okay so the strap is out of it now to complete this now we still have to go down by 20 inches so it means you're going to be cutting out the fabric of 20 inches unfold by or you can cut it separately so now i'm going to be cutting out the fabric of 20 inches by the 14 inches which is the width of our of our of our trouser okay so you are going to be cutting two of this we are still going to understand it by the time of course so i'm just going to cut this out now and i will start to cut this on our fabric you can also cut this directly on your fabric but it's going to be clearer with the paper that's why i'm drafting a paper first okay so once i have it there i'm going to cut out my crotch curve and then i'm going to also cut out the shaping that we did on this side here okay so this is what the trouser is looking like now okay so now if you don't want your palazzo to be so long like this so you can just deduct like two inches from what we have here you just measure your your hanko your knee sorry then your round knee measurement you just insert it at uh, on a centralized area you but for that you need to get a guitar line so to get your guitar line what you just need to do now is to measure what you have here you divide that by two now that's going to be seven inches so the seven inches i'm just doing this for those that want to do a pencil trouser so once you have what you divide what you have on your tie by two that's going to be seven inches so you make the seven inches here and then you also mark the seven inches on this lower part so after marking it you make it into a straight line so now whatever you have on your tie you're going to centralize it and then divide it between the two so that you can shape your trouser like that but this is a palazzo it's just going to be straight now so i'll cut this on my fabric now then we'll continue okay so i have cut this out on my fabric i just placed my fabric i cut at exactly the same shape so i just added half an inch allowance here for extension so i want to turn this to the other side so that we can see the markings very well okay so now placing it now we're going to use this to cut out 
our back so to cut the back i'm just cutting directly on the fabric this time i'm going to fold my fabric into two just like i did for okay so for the back i folded my fabric into two you can see how i placed it because this has a pattern and i want the darker shade to be on the upper part so if you have a back fabric pattern you should take care of, of that so the only difference here is just that i'm going to be extending the crotch by two and a half inches so you should leave enough space for that so i hope you can see this i'm extending my crotch by two and a half inches if the person you're working with is bigger you make that bigger and then on this upper part here at the center i'm going to increase it by one inch as well for the bum rest so after i increase it by one inch i'm going to connect it to the side remember we are still going to join it together at the side so it has to be exactly the same so i'm going to connect it like that and then on this crotch line this high row here i'm going to increase it by one and a half inches as well so I'm just eyeballing it and then I'm just extending to one and a half inches. So those are the two difference. Two and a half inches here, one and a half inches here, and then you're going to increase this by one inch. So now I'm going to connect it using my cuff. So I'm going to use this cuff to just connect from here to here. Okay, I'm not adding any allowance here. Remember, we had that one inch allowance when we were drafting. So connect from there to there and also I'm going to connect from here to this one having to so like I said this curve you should get a better curve basically okay so now I'm just going to use my hand to redraw a bit because my curve is not so good but that's what I can find right now so now those are the change changes I'm going to do so here for here now I'm just going to connect it from here all the way to the side Okay. So you can use your pants cuff to do that just connect just for it to blend to the side like that and that is all you need to do so after doing all of that now you are going to cut the shape that you have there so for the front also here i'm going to go down by one inch at this center front here or 0.75 inches and then i'm going to connect that to the side as well for the front okay so it means if you have done this before placing your front what you are going to be adding now is two inches not one inch so that's why i decided to do this before after i have connected my back because if you're going to be if you have gone down by one inch and you take one inch you can see that it's just on the regular line you have not increased your bone for your bone rest so if you have gone down by one inch when you're adjusting your front it's just when you want to increase the back you are going to be increasing the back by two inches so please take note of that so here i'm cutting off my new crotch curve as well then I'm going to connect this to this side okay so here the bomb rest also I'm going to slant it diagonally to the side and then I'm going to cut that exactly what I have on this side here so now the next thing is for us to just cut out the the lower part which is the 20 inches by 14 inches so you can cut it on fold or you can just cut it separately like we have here so i'm going to go ahead and cut that as well okay so these are the two pieces for the front as well as the two pieces for the back so now we'll go ahead and join this so i'm going to set this aside now and work on the lower part so for the lower part remember we're having a four inches strap so i'm going to remove that four inches now and then i'm going to measure the 20 inches so the length is going to be 20 inches i made 21 inches because of hemming okay so i have around 21 and half here because i'm still going to sew the strap to it remember i had it allowance on the lower part as well here so now i have 21 inches here by the 14 inches okay so you can cut it on food or you can just slash it open but i'm slashing mine open 
so i'm going to be having a seam on the side there just like i'm going to be having on the upper part as well so now i'm going to set this aside also and i've gone ahead to cut out my straps so for each of my pants for each leg of the pants i'm going to be working with 10 straps so i have this 10 strap here and the strap is five inches long okay remember our actual length is four inches so i have this five inches long strap so i'm going to use half an inch to sew it on the upper part then half an inch also on the lower part so i'm going to left with my original four inches so i'm going to work on the main trouser first before we work on this lower part so for the main trouser what you just need to do now is to sew in your dart then after sewing in your dart you're going to sew the crotch so to sew the crotch now i'm going to place it right side facing right side i'm going to go ahead and sew it on the crotch here also on the back side then after that i'm going to open the underarm and then i'm going to sew it okay so here i'm just going to hem it after sewing it i'm going to hem the lower part but you can also fix lining to this we are going to be fixing lining you cut your lining exact same way we have cut our main fabric and then use them to turn out each other so i'll go ahead now and sew my shorts and then bring it back for us to continue okay so like we can see here i want to sew in my dart you can see my front dart and my back dart then i sew the crotch okay so this is the front crotch sewn and this is the back crotch so after that i place the crotch against each other front and back and then i sew it so after sewing it now the next thing is for you to take your side and sew so i've sewn one side completely then i sew up one side up to here because i'm going to be fixing my zipper so if you turn it to the right side now this is what the shot looks like okay so now we have our shot the next thing now is to go ahead now and complete this trouser so to complete it now like i said i have this you can call this on food but the fabric i have is not enough to cut but the two sides on food that was why i just decided to cut it like this so now after having your fabric like this like i said i have cut out my strap i'm using 10 for this you can use whatever amount of strap you want so i'll start placing my straps now so i want each of these straps to have like two two inches space in between them so after pasting one now i'll place the next one here two inches and then i measure two inches again you can see i'm placing it on the right side facing the lower part like this so i'm just going to take two two inches intervals and then i'm going to place my 10 straps all around like this so after placing my straps i'm going to go ahead and sew it down remember i said i'm not going to be fixing lining to this so if you want to fix lining to yours you can use your lining to turn your strap and this lower part but i'm not fixing lining so i'm just going to be top stitching so before you do this you can just weave this edge or you can just use your bias to turn both the strap and the and the and the rough edge so that it can be neat so now i'll take this to the same machine now and then sew it two two inches gap in between all of them so i'll sew it straight like this and bring it back to show us what it looks like okay so i've gone ahead to sew them you can see now that they are together so the next thing is for me to flip it like this okay and then i'll just turn in turn it like this and then sew in my and top stitch on the seam allowance so like i said you can also use your bias to turn this neatly but i'm just going to do this for the purpose of this tutorial so after turning it like this you make sure you bring out your strap so they are not going to sew on the strap again so after bringing out all of your strap i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you are going to top stitch on it so i'll do that now as well so i've top stitched on this now so if you turn it to the right side this is what it looks like okay so you can see what our straps are looking like now so the next thing now is to close this by taking it together just like we closed our front our upper the shirt i'm going to take it together now and then sew it with the allowance that i used to sew the front so i'll do the same thing for the other leg as well so i've gone ahead to sew it now and i'm going to turn it out so after turning out this is the first leg and this is the second leg okay so the next thing now is to create that strap or whatever it is that you want to use this to attach the lower part to the upper part so this is what we have i'm going to cut out my 
my thread so now you're going to bring green your shorts and then you start marking the points where each of them correspond to each other okay so now you just use it to mark that point where it all correspond okay so you can see me placing them on each other like this because you use two two inches you can see that they fall exactly on each other so now after noting these points now you take your chalk and then place your markings there okay so i'm placing my marking like this and then i'm going to do the same thing on the lower side on the lower part so you do this for the other leg as well so now this is totally up to you you can use whatever it is to attach them together so like i said you can use your bra your press button so this is a press button it has like a hook just the regular press button so i'm going to be fixing one underneath this so that it's not going to show and you're going to tack it very very neatly and then one is going to be on top of this so when you fix one underneath this like this you're going to fix one on top of this so that you can strap them to hold them together like this so either you use this bra this press button or you use a bra hook like this but i recommend the press button the press button is better so this bra hook has like an like a hook and high as well so you can use you can fix this underneath this just like we did for the other one so you can fix this underneath with this mouth facing forward like this so when you fix this to the other one you just use them to hook each other like this just your normal hook that you have at the back of your bra okay so you can just fix your bra hook like this at that point and then fix the other one here so that i can use them to hook each other but i recommend this this press button so on the points where you marked you're just going to place your breast button but for this tutorial i'm just going to hold them together with my pins and then now i'm going to take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like with the short and then with our transformers lower part okay so this is it on our on our mannequin you can see the crotch you can see how flat our crotch is laying so that's why i said you need to be careful when you are marking your crotch but this is the front and this is what the back looks like you can see that the back is equally beautiful just like what we have in front and that just helps you to control the fullness so now So I held my lower part with my pins, like I said. So you just need to hide your buckle, your press button on both sides so that I can use them to strap each other. So now once you remove your pin, it's just going to automatically make this into my TG. So you remove it now. You can see that it's a short. You just need to remove your strap for the other one as well. And you have your short so your shorts is ready like this so this is what the shirt looks like and you just need to fix your zipper here and your trouser is ready i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye